Welcome to another episode of Point Cooking. I am Marlon White, and anybody that knows me knows that I'm on a ketogenic diet, so I'm always looking for new ways to make things up. So today we're going to be making keto stir fry using the following ingredients. So for this recipe, you're going to need onions, sweet pepper, broccoli, apple cider vinegar, coconut aminos, sesame seed oil, garlic granules, chili flakes, ginger, chicken breast, and mushrooms. Start by cutting up two chicken breasts. Once cut up, put to the side. Now cut up your broccoli. Also put to the side once finished. And now to dice up your onions. Also put to the side. Now time to dice your sweet pepper. Now in a larger medium bowl we're going to transfer our diced chicken. We're now going to add a quarter cup of coconut aminos which is a substitute for soy sauce. We're then going to add one tablespoon of garlic granules then one tablespoon of ginger we're then going to add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar then we're going to give the bowl a very good mix then we're going to put the bowl to the side then in a large frying pan on a medium fire we're going to add avocado oil we're then going to add in our onions that we diced earlier then we're going to saute them for a couple of minutes We're then going to add in our sweet pepper. We're then going to use our spatula to spread around the onions and sweet pepper in the frying pan. We're then going to add one cup of mushrooms to the frying pan that have been pre-cut. We're then going to add in our broccoli that we cut earlier. We're then going to start spreading the veg around in the frying pan and making sure everything gets cooked evenly. Then we're going to put the frying pan to the side. Then in another large frying pan, we're going to add in our chicken that we cut earlier. After 5 minutes, your chicken will be ready to rotate so it can cook on the other side. Then we're going to add in our veg. We're now going to add 2 teaspoons of sesame seed oil to the frying pan. Then we're going to spread around, make sure it gets evenly distributed. Now we're going to add a sprinkle of chili flakes. After another minute too, your stir fry will be ready to serve. This recipe goes wonderfully well with cauliflower rice. So this has been another episode of Point Cooking. I hope you enjoyed. Before you get out of here, please check out my new website. I'll be posting my new recipes to it regularly. The link will be in the description below. Please like the current video and most importantly, please subscribe to my channel.